I do. So pick up where I left off. So talk to Basil. I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volca prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable, but though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Alright. And Karth. What's on your mind? Terrace? No. Karth has nothing else to say. That's all I can think. You got it. How can I help? Uh, nothing else for part. I've already talked to Mission enough, and Zalbar doesn't talk it. That was passed. So we go with that. And I wanted to put Basta in the party, but I'm not supposed to go with this. Yes, I won the swoop race. Candace is looking for us in the cantina. And we better not take too long. Well, I'm right here at settings. Uh, preferences, notifications, turn off. Right, so. Escaping Taurus. Where? Oh, wait, it's on the map screen. Alright, time to pump Bastilus level up. Alright, dex, 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 dex. Yeah, powers. Alright. I can't read demand, so I'll get speed. Yeah, I'll dump it into this. Powers, uh, I'll get heal. What? Oh, she has to be level 6 to get heal. Let's go with that. Feats. Uh, wait. Yeah, improve her fighting. Snowy. Toughness. All allies for as one as toughness. Here we go. Do I have anything to give her? Reflex. Lightsaber. Sit energy shield. 
the energy shield. Awareness. I just can't wear a cardio package on the other house. Alright. So, in terms of quests. Yeah, I've done everything else so we can just focus on getting off Taurus. Trooper. Stall Trooper. Stall Trooper. I mean, like, the Sith are looking for Bastille and she's walking by like nothing's happening. And Karth is missing again. Any there he is. Stall Trouba. Stall Trouba. What? Sure. And Candorus is here. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated, so I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janus Nal. Just tell her Kandorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I'd do this myself. But everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Alright, I don't this sense a deal. any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's Cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. I'm here. Wait. Uh, for a minute I thought it was Force Valor. Alright, we already went into the medical clinic, so we don't have to worry about that. How much credits have I got? Alright, 2,414. Should be enough for the... droid. Sith Trooper. Sith Trooper. Greetings and good day. I am a pentacle. Then if you will excuse... Doop, doop, doop. 
It's our shop. She sell androids. Hey, we have these three. So I'll just get rid of Basta and put him in now. And the cart is out down the street. So, T3. And I should just go into. Intel Index. Yep. Toughness. What's it going to do again? Hmm. Yeah, I got that. Now we go to the Sith base. Houston, we have landing. Alright, unlock the door. And in we go. Kavadumpa Kapalia Monapata Bonanakachu she took the deal and she wants us to wait until she leaves before we start blasting wait what am I doing we will do it as T3 since his stats are now 16 computer use and 11 security uh, Barracks secondary, load our power conduit. Dead. Alright, reception, that's us. Medical, it's two droids. Control center. Elevator. Disable shields. Armory. No, I see in there, just a couple turrets. Alright, system commands. And everyone's blasting each other. Let's upgrade him. He's about the six blasters or if anything else. Give him the heavy blaster. So I do plus ten. Cart does plus eight. Nine and T3 does plus ten. Let's 
quite the babble that went on there. Okay, we got a repair kit for T3. And nothing else in this room. So there should be a couple more players. Excuse me, T3. Either a droid. Wait, what's my repair on T3? It's plus 17 and on turn boss. It's, yeah, so T3 has the better option. I don't have any repair parts. You just healed. Why do I have so many plasma grenades? Do so little damage. Well, heal so little. No problem. Didn't work. Yeah, being upgrades for my uh, guns and swords. I think we're pretty much done on this side of the building anyway. Guy from earlier on. 
Fucking by Monkey. Ninja Mira Ramas. Right, turn all the panels red. Don't pour. If I turn them all green, I'll kill the guy. Safe. Dead. Ready? Yes. All right. I do have shields. All right. Just. Oh. Oh yeah. This was the room where I blew up the power coupling. First things first, save. Game. <laughs> Grenades, cushion, frag, ion. There we go. Yes. Uh huh. What? All right. Upper floor to sit face. I will save again. What? What? Ready? And Karat has no more energy shields. I'm sure. Ready. Who dares to break my meditation? Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. You are a fool. This is a new age. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. We are the new order of the galaxy. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Right, so. First things first. People spam all grenades. Heart will spam normal grenades. And C3 will spam flamethrower. Go! Ah, uh, Karth is dead. Sure. What? Bolt. Try that again. Dares to break yada yada yada. Who would have thought of spoken like a troop this meeting?
To heal again. Spam grenades. Um, grenades also heal ah <laughs> T3 the burninator sure Five hundred credits. My phone, just a bony ally. Right, we got the codes. Let's leave the base. Should have swapped T3 out for Bastila. I'm gonna swap her out for Bastila now once we get out here. Speed is still point of broad pass line. Wait, pass like another blob. They're so dense, the fact Basler's walking around with a lightsaber and they don't recognize her. Can make her wear the Sith armor. Sure. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So, what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. Tavik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. 
I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Alright. And fast level we are. Companion. <laughs> Oh, spooky cutscene. There's the big bad himself, Malak. You summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians. Not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. Well, Taris is screwed. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. An important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candace and the yeah, How many times have you checked, watched a show on this film? Part of the exchange. Many would kill the have you seen worthy of this where order. gangsters and mobsters all start backstabbing each other and the whole team just goes down the toilet then? Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Yeah. Ah, there she is. The Ebon Hawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebon Hawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call a Body massage! Service. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. 
I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, right. we're inside. We're in. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Hey, now we have a little Candorus. So, he's mainly a weapon user, so... Give him Dex. Right, I'll... Yeah. Treat injury and awareness. No, oh, wait. Oh, he already has toughness. So let's give him two weapon fighting since he's using a big ass hand cannon. Alright, there. And we can dump some armor on him. I should give them to Basilis and she's using a lightsaber. I'm here. Ooh, bit of a lag spike there. Yes? Yeah. Yes? Yes? Alright. Let's go raid the building. Wow, he has his own throne as well. And check something. Plus ten, plus nine, plus five. Yes. Menu, cameras, spice lab. Well, it's just. Spice lab. So I can't kill everybody in the spice lab, that sucks. Alright. Let's kill these guys. Ah, I can fight everyone else. Right, does he have any good demolitions? Nope. Oh. Okay, though, is he does have the ability to regen his health, it looks like. Or it's whatever I put on him. Why are there remains out here? I didn't kill anybody out this side of the room. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. This next room should have a bunch of guys. In it. I'm here. What? Why? Wait, no, I'm disabled to right. idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. <laughs> it won't be long until Davik. You think he's uh, changed the code after his pilot's been approved? Damn, we'll see. We got what we came for. Bombing the whole planet. All right, and then we'll just fight the guys in here, and then we're done. Jeez, that guy got owned. That's how we do it. Really should put a, her shield on though. Made to save. Sure. What did you do? Use has access to open all security doors. Trick root menu, log out. Huh? I'm here. So I just want to check all the rooms again. So we can just haven't explored the guest rooms, but I'm not even gonna go there. So, Bastila, I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. It must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcas to subdue me. Whatever you say. All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who was serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet cat hound, but they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? 
Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Valkyrs, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but... That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. <laughs> I want to say, I want to know. The cutscene of Malik ordering the bombardment just really shows the difference between him and Revan. Like, Revan's backstory is he just basically take up the infrastructure without destroying everything, make the enemy surrender, but Malik just, nope, just blow everything up. Finesse versus strength. Brute force versus finesse. Difference between a sniper rifle and a tank. Alright, let's finish with Taris. Finally. Right, save because this fight can go belly up, but this goal here is just beat the crap out of Damic. Don't even go for Kahlo. Yes? Why? What can I do? Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or Look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs they're dropping will kill us all. Do I have any? No. Well, I could use the sonic grenades, maybe. Oh, All right, Basil is down for the count. Yeah. God damn it. He had to keep firing at Kahlo, didn't he? Ah, uh, this one's a white. Sooner or oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship. And you can't skip this. High and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carl. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs they're dropping will kill us all. Thank <laughs> you. 
shallow. Ah, dead again. Maybe so you have to defeat Davik to win this. Damn no shit. They're bombing the whole planet. Ah, we try this again. They turn on the sooner. Well, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Jesus, what the hell are these killing me so crazy? Man, I'm just gonna throw as many grenades as I can then. It's ridiculous. Hold on, I'm aiming at cattle. Damn no shit, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and we'll kill us all. Alright, we'll do with that. So we'll have to do that cutscene over and over again. Bad chance that did though. All good that did. There we go. You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn no shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. This is what wasn't Davik, it was shoot Kahlo. Alright, all aboard. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. 
the city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. That city's getting wrecked. Oh, somebody has a gas plane. For Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Laser. All right, we got two fighters left. Got him. All fighters destroyed. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. Right, Dantooine. So once I gain control and I can save, then we'll call it there for now. <laughs> We're officially done the prologue and go as well. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. 
Alright, we save it and call it there. Uh, bloop. I said bloop. There we go. A little top right message. Alright, that's just done there. Now we just have to talk to the council.